Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to go over a Big Bear script that I made. And I made it so the Big Bear community can update their servers really easy, wh whether it's Debian or Ubuntu. So I'm going to go over the script, explain it, and um, I'm going to run it. So uh, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. And there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to search and type update Ubuntu. And then it's update Ubuntu or Debian server. So I'm going to click it. Then you can run it with this command. You will need sudo. And then run.sh. So um, a bin bash, a, a message, and then um, I'm going to check if unattended flag is passed. So unattended means that it won't ha have any prompts or anything and you'll be able to just run it uh, without a person being there so now a function to prompt a user so i'm going to create a function to, uh, to prompt and then it'll prompt for a yes or no and then check os capability so it's going to check if it's ubuntu or debian and then um the function to check this space it's going to check the disk space and then function to check uh, the hold pro problematic pa packages. So um, if there's any that uh, that are known, it'll be right here. Um, so explain the script functions if it's not unattended. So if it's not unattended and this wasn't passed up here, um, up uh, right here, the variable. Uh, so so if it's uh, if it's false, then the script will help you update and maintain your ubuntu slash debian server so, so it'll log all that out and it's using this up here the log function and then um now i'm going to scroll down um so and now it's going to uh, set the initial uh, space fr from the check uh, this space a uh, function up here right here and then it's going to log the initial disk based usage and it's going to be a percentage and then now it's going to come down here and set variables so if, if, for the update a package a list upgraded pa packages a full upgrade done and removed unnecessary and then ca cache cleaned that's all set to false right now is default then it's going to come down here and, and we're on step one so it's going to update the package list so it's going to use apt uh, update and then um so it's going to use a pseudo and then if it fails it's going to say fa failed to update package list and then if it exceeds it's going to say, say, say the updated package list right here is true so it's going to turn this one right here into true and then the same thing with this one step two it's going to come down here and prompt the user uh, it's going to say upgrading the installed pa package list if the user says why, why. and then and that, now it's going to come down here and sudo apt uh, upgrade and then why and then fa failed to upgrade pa packages if this does fail and then installed successfully and then now it's going to change the upgraded package variable to true. And then and now it's come down, uh, I'm going to come down here to step three which is perform the full upgrade. So it's going to do a full upgrade so it'll ask the user do you want to perform a full upgrade and then if the user says why performing full upgrade and then uh if the if the full upgrade fails it's going to co come down here and say log failed and then it's going to come down here and if the uh if passes right here it's going to come down here and log and then it's going to set the full upgrade done to true and then um, uh, if the user does say no to any of these, it's going to come down here to the else statements and say skipping full upgrade. Um, so it'll do, I'll do that with this one too. 
So now I remove unnecessary packages. So, so it's going to use auto remove. And then um, it's going to come down here and say removed unnecessary is true. So now it's going to clean up the package files. So it's going to prompt the user if they want to clean up the cache package files. And then it's going to use sudo apt clean. And then it's going to come down here and say cache cleaned is true. And then now it's also going to check the problematic packages if there was any. And then now it's going to print the summary. So update summary, the package list updated, the package is upgraded, and then the full upgrade performed, and unnecessary package is removed, and then cache cleaned, and then it's going to say disk space freed. So, um, and all those, if they're set to true, it'll say yes, true. So now it's going to print the summary of this function right here, and then it's going to come down here and set a function for check reboot required. So it's going to check if the uh, a system needs a reboot, and if it does, then it's going to say, do you want to reboot now? And then it's going to use sudo reboot. Um, so... As you can see, all the script is uh, a, a, a based on if it's intended, if it's attended. So if it's attended, then it asks the user step by step and tries to explain what it's going to do. So I try to make the script as safe as possible. So that's a little bit about the script and how it works. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, with this script, um, the a log file up here is set. So, this is where the log file will be. So, you can go here, var log, Big Bear update, Ubuntu server.log. Um, th this will be the log file that you can go to and you can see all what the script does. And then the log function right here, it'll log it to the log file and it's using the date and then it's going to use T and then a log the lo uh, to it. So uh, this will log out everything it does down here if it's used. So this log fu function right here, if it's used anywhere like right here, then it'll log it to that file. So I try to make everything to where the user can exactly know what the script does. And there's nothing that, that they don't really know. I try to put comments in here so you can understand what it does too. Um, so I hope you like the script and let's get to running it. So now we're going to go backwards and we're going to go to the run command right here. And we're going to copy it. And then we're going to SSH into our server and run the script. So now I'm going to SSH into my server. So I'm going to SSH root at and then the IP address. And uh, this is just an LXC, but I'm going to show you how it runs the script. So now um, it's going to ask for a password. So I'm going to put my password in. And then now it's logged in. So I'm going to clear it out. Um, so now I'm going to paste in the bash command, and then now I'm going to run it. So now it downloaded it, and now it's running the command. So do you want to update the package list? I'm going to say why. Do you want to upgrade the installed pa packages and why? And this could t uh, take a bit, but... It's walking you through the steps to make sure your server is updated. So now do you want to perform a full upgrade? So you can say no or why for this. I'm going to just say why. And then and now it's done. So do you want to remove unnecessary packages? You can say in for no and then why. I'm going to say why. And then, do you want to clean up cache uh, package files? I'm going to say Y for this. And then, now you can see that cl cleaning up ca uh, cache package files. And then, the package uh, list update is true. The package is upgraded is true. The full upgrade performed is true. The unnecessary packages removed is true. The cached cleaned is true. The, di uh, the disk space freed is 2%. And then, the script execution completed. 
So now when I was explaining the script, um, I showed you that it can log to a file. So I'm going to uh, uh, bssh to my server, of course, and I'm going to uh, go cd var log, and then now I'm at ls. So you can see the file right here, and um, and now you can see the log of what it done. So I'm going to cut ca it out. And then you can see all the history of what the command done. And it's time stamped as well over here. So that's a little bit about the script. So I just went over step by step on running the script. And then you'll keep your server updated. And that's good to do. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.